Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be discussing about the yield curve comparisons and the change of the forecast. As of Monday, rates were not given since it was closed due to Veterans Day. From the data which was collected, there were very minimal changes in the yield curve comparisons. There were minimal changes in the forecast comparisons from November the 8th to November the 15th. However, there is some slight flattening in the yield curve, meaning that the short-term rates are rising faster than the long-term. Friday, November the 8th, 2013. According to Bloomberg's survey on November the 8th, the central bank purchased $1.39 billion in inflation index treasuries, maturing between April 2029 and February 2043. U.S. policymakers agree that interest rates will stay close to zero, and at the same time inflation is at 2.5%, and unemployment is still above 6.5%. As for the next day, Tuesday, November the 12th, 2013, <clears throat> minimal increases occur along the yield curve in comparison to Friday, November the 8th. The Standard & Poor's 500 index fell 0.2% to 1,767.69. The Dow also lost points at 32.4 points, or 0.2%, to 15,750.67. Only 5.9 billion shares changed hands on the U.S. Stock Exchange Tuesday. Some data last week showed the U.S. economy grew faster than its projected forecast. An increase in employment also took place, which is good news. There is no data from yesterday due to the Veterans Day celebration. And as you can see with the R10, R2 method of the percentage change, by reading the news, there, is, um, there from Friday to Tuesday, there shows a drastic increase in the slope from the uh, difference from 2.409 on Friday to Tuesday, 2.411, which is pretty good. Now for the next day, Wednesday, November 13th, 2013. Janet Yellen, who is the Vice Chair of the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System, nominated by President Obama on April the 28th, 2010, she is stated as being a dove. She stated that the U.S. economy must improve before the Federal Reserve can be slow in bond purchases. Now, the yield curve fell due to the Treasury auction of $24 billion of securities. This attracted the higher demand for short-term rates. The 10-year yield dropped 7 base points from 0.07 to 2.70% 2 at 459 p.m. The Fed is buying the bonds, causing the yield curve to flatten out. The R10 to R2 difference from Tuesday's and Wednesday's percentage change is negative 0.05392, which a negative indicates a flattening in the yield curve which correlates with the news, which I have already stated. Now for the next day, Thursday, November 14th, the 30-year bonds gained 60, 16 billion in sales of the debt which raised rates drew lower than average demand. The government is issuing a lot of bonds, but the demand is too low. The yield curve measuring difference between Treasury five years and the 10-year note yields reached 1.37%. The U.S. Central Bank buys $85 billion of treasuries and mortgage-backed securities each month to keep down the pressure of the borrowing costs. This will hopefully cause people to buy, to borrow more money and not just save it. Now for Friday, November the 15th, 2013, according to Bloomberg, Friday's new stocks rose in the United States, led to China's economy, pol economic policies, which changed, which caused the U.S. dollar and Chinese yen to fall. While at the same time, oil capped off its weekly losses since 1998. The 10-year Treasury yield rose, pairing its weekly decline. Thursday's R10 to R2 difference is 2.39 and Friday is 2.403. The percentage change equation states it to be 0.00544, 0 
the positive number indicating a steepening in the yield curve. This correlates with the news which I've stated that the 10-year Treasury yield is rising. As you can see in the R10, R2, there is an increase in the slope. And also, this is for Friday, the comparison from Friday the 8th to Friday the 15th. Overall, there's an increasing in the rates, so it's a positive slope. And as it also shows, for the yield curve comparison, which is orange, which would be the Friday the 8th, and red, which would be Friday the 15th, which you can also see there's an increase for both. Yes. And for the forecast, there also shows a minimal increase in the rates stated there. Now, overall, from which I can conclude from this, is that the conclusion of the overall rates are rising very gently in, in anticipation of the tapering that's going to happen. It was interesting to understand how markets react to news and auctions. The primary concern for the week was the newly elected Vice President of the Board of Governors, Janet L. Yellen, who was nominated by President Obama. She is currently positioned as Vice President Chair of the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System. Janet Yellen is considered dovish. She is uh, considered dovish in that she considers inflation will have a minimal impact on the economy as a whole. They have a tool that they developed, which they are paying interest on reserves, so bank, banks are going to have to keep required reserves. They're going to be able to pay interest on those reserves. This is going to have an impact on how much money banks are going to lend out. Rising inflation and lower productivity numbers are causing investors to seek out more secure investments. Rates are rising slightly because of an anticipation of the tapering. The Fed are buying bonds, causing the yield curve to flatten out. And that is all for my presentation. And I would like to thank you all for watching it. And that is all. Thank you. Finn.